Previously on The Walking Dead. What's your name? I'm Clementine. You've been all by yourself through this? I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. It's how the world works now! We... are those bad people dead? I hope you know what you're doing with her. I got it! Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are. Okay, you can come, but you have to promise to stay quiet. Clementine? Clementine! She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. We... I saw my parents. Come here, sweet pea. You have to shoot me, honey. Lee, no! Valdomid and Krista. What do you think? Omid, you can't be serious. I am. We are not doing that. Why not? Because. Come on, Krista. What's wrong with Omid? We're not calling our baby Omid. One of you is enough. Clementine, a little help here? Omid the second. No. Omid Jr. No. You have to admit it has a ring to it. Yeah, the ring of an egotistical maniac. What if it's a girl? And we name her Krista. But I'm Krista. I don't want to call her Krista. That's just confusing. So name her Genevieve. I don't care. How can you not care? You're not taking this seriously. I take everything seriously. Especially little Omid's future. Keep talking, and you'll be sleeping in the rain tonight. Remember that time in Barstow? Vegas weekend? Why don't you, uh, uh, get cleaned up in the girls' room, Clem? I hope the sink works in there. I wouldn't count on it. Just be careful and make sure to keep track of your things. We'll be right next door. Okay. Hello?
better. Oh shit. I see you. Get out of there. You're not fooling me. Who are you? None of your business. Are you gonna hurt me? Only if you're stupid. Get out here. You got anything on you? Come on, let's see. No, that's all I have. That's it? How'd you make it this long? I'm serious, what else you got? That's it. Don't lie to me, I'll pop you. Give me what you got. I'm not screwing around, come on. I don't have anything. Give me that hat. No. Where'd you get it? I asked you a question. My dad gave it to me. Just give it to me. Junk, junk, junk. Look at all this junk. Shit, shit, and more shit. Why you ain't got nothing good? Not like the last people I got. They had all kinds of good shit. That was a good catch. You ain't got nothing good. You're just a little fish. You gonna cry, little fish? This your daddy? What a bozo. Krista, talk to me.
This will never work. Look at this. It's pathetic. The wood's too wet to burn. It's more smoke than flame. At this rate, we'll be eating this for breakfast. What else can we do? Find something that'll burn, maybe. I don't know. Won't be easy in the dark and in the rain. You should be doing this, not me. Tending a fire so you can cook and stay warm. It's something you have to be able to do, Clementine. Otherwise... We can't stay in one place too long. It's too dangerous. We need to keep moving. All we do, all we have ever done is move. But we never seem to get anywhere. I'm freezing. You think this is bad? Wait till we get up to Wellington. Then talk to me about cold. If we make it. We still have a couple hard months ahead of us. This rain will turn to sleet. Then ice. Then snow. It won't be easy. Is it safe there? Safer than here because of the cold. Or so they say. We just need to keep moving north. I miss Lee. I'm sure you do. <sighs> I'm gonna go look for more wood. You just keep the fire lit. Still not enough. The flames are too low. lie to us. Who do you think you're fooling here? Give us the truth and you don't get hurt. You <gasps> fucking with me? Where's the rest of your group? 
I'm by myself. Bullshit. She's lying. Cut the shit, lady. It's it's just me. What the Krista, fuck? Krista, run! Hey! <laughs> Krista, are you there?
okay, boy. It's okay. <coughs> Sam. Well, nice to meet you, Sam. Looks pretty run over, but you never know. Let's look around for some food. Looks like they were a happy family once. I hope they left some food behind somewhere. Hmm, <laughs> nothing edible. Wanna play catch? Okay, bring it back. Good boy, Sam. What's the matter, Sam? It's okay. He's dead. Look, you can see the bite. Looks like he tried to cut it out. But that never works. Ever. It's okay. We're smart. He's not. We're smarter than all of them. Back, okay. Stay out of their reach. I like to think that if they were alive, they'd probably want to help you. Nothing. <sighs> Still 
pretty sharp. At least we found something useful. We won't go another night without food, okay? go. Oh my god. Thank you. Look, Sam. I can. Let's see what's inside. Please don't be bad. I guess you are pretty hungry, too. Here you go. Hey, you don't eat it all!
I think... I think we're safe. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Hey, you all right? I... I think so. What are you doing out here? Where are the, uh, the people you're with? There's no chance you made it this long on your own. My friend and I got attacked. Hmm. These folks mention what they were after? They might have just wanted food. We were cooking some sort of weasel. They attacked you for a weasel? Damn. That is low. They didn't mention any names, right? They weren't searching for anybody? Hmm. Well, I'm Luke, and this is Pete. Hey there. Hi. I'm Clementine. It's nice to meet you, Clementine. But for now, we're gonna take you back to our group. Okay, we got a doctor with us, and you look like you could use some- Oh, shit! Ah! What? What is it? She's- She's been bit, man. Fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. What are we gonna do here? No, it was a dog. I didn't see any dog, Clementine. Come on, kid. We just saw you with those lurkers back there. No, no, just look at it, please. <laughs> yeah, and have you sink your teeth into Pete's neck? No way. My neck? Why am I the one? Because I don't know a dog bite from a mosquito bite from a lurker bite, man. It's not. Hmm, all right. Let's see it. Whoa, 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 hey, watch yourself. Hey, don't look at me like that. You're the one that's bit here, okay? See? Is it, uh, is it like she says? Uh, well, could be a dog. Hard to say. So where'd this dog go? The one that did this? I... I killed it. What? Really? A dog shows up and bites you and you just kill it? What would you have done? I don't know. It attacked me. Still, you don't... You don't kill dogs. Clementine? Yes? You telling us the truth? You look me in the eyes when you answer. Yes. All right, Clementine. That's good enough for me. Well, what else was she gonna say? I've got a good bullshit detector, Luke. That's why you can never beat me at poker. <laughs> you don't always beat me at... Alright, how can you be sure? Well, I'm sure I ain't willing to leave a little girl in the woods to die when we got a doctor with us that can make a call. We can have Carlos take a look at it first. Nick ain't gonna like this. Not with what happened. You don't have to remind me of that, boy. Right. Sorry, sir. Come on. Clementine, are you feeling all right? I'm fine. Just tired. Well, you better be fine. 
Because I ain't carrying you anymore with that bite on your arm. Don't worry about... Ah, oh, shit! She was bitten by a dog. What? And you just believed her? You should have put her out of her misery right there. Dog bite my ass. I'm not worried. <gasps> Keep your finger off the trigger, boy. Whoa! Whoa! What the you fuck? You idiot! Every lurker for five miles probably heard that. You're the that. one telling me to fucking shoot her. Everybody just calm down for a second. Clementine, you okay? I'm not... I'm not working for anyone. Oh. I don't know what you're talking about. I just need help. We got a doctor right here, okay? He'll have a look. Now what the hell is wrong with you people? Okay, she's just scared. We're all scared, Luke. Don't act like we're the ones being irrational because we don't buy this bullshit story. No way she survived out here on her own. Why are we even arguing about this? Let me take a look. It's okay. Go ahead. He's a doctor. Damn, that must have hurt. Hmm. Whatever it was, it got you good. This isn't how we do things, man. When you're bit, you get put down. End of story. I'm not going through this again. No one's suggesting that. We could take her arm off. <gasps> uh, I know that worked for a cousin down in Ainsworth. We could try that. It won't do any good. You'll just be making it worse for the girl. It's crazy. No one's going to volunteer to do that. I would, if it means saving her life. Please. I'm just a little girl. You can't just kill me when you don't know for sure. This is bullshit. Who's she? Sarah. What I say, stay inside. I don't mean to be any trouble. I just want to stop the bleeding and then I'll go. You'll never see me again, I promise. And where exactly would you go? I can take care of myself. Clearly. Carlos, we've been through this before. We all agreed. We don't wait for shit like this. End of story. So, what do you think? Was it a lurker? A bite like that? Could be anything. Only one way to find out. How? We wait. What? By tomorrow morning, if the fever set in, we'll know if she's gonna turn. In the meantime, we can lock her in the shed. What about my arm? It needs to get cleaned and, and stitched and bandaged. The girl is in bad shape, Carlos. We have all that stuff inside the cabin. We could probably get by Alvin, with it. please. But yeah, we can't do nothing. I'm not wasting supplies on a lurker bite. If it turns out you're telling the truth, I'll clean it and stitch it up for you in the morning. But... I'm sorry. It's the best we're gonna get. Finger off the trigger, son. I ain't your son. Don't be like that, man. It's all right. Boy's got his mom's temper. Come on. This is just a waste of time. You'll see. And when she turns, I ain't gonna be the one cleaning up the shed. It was a dog. You'll see. I guess we'll find out in the morning. If I last that long, maybe you could go look for it? I wish I could. I really do, but it's too risky. Sorry.
because it's safer this way, and I'd rather be sure. Yeah, safer for who? <sighs> I can't believe this. Not much left in here. I guess if I have to, I can use this for stitches. Stitches. House meeting in five minutes. That's... It won't take long. There's a few things we need to discuss. He's got her book. He doesn't need to be a part of it. Come on. 
There's no way. She could be. We don't know. She's connected to somebody. There's no way she's out here by herself. She said she was with a friend and they got attacked. Yeah, right. Whoever she's with, they'll probably come looking for her. Great. They show up and we've got her locked in the shed. You think we should bring her in here? No, I'm just saying it wouldn't look too good. It's just a precautionary measure. Anyone else would do the same. You really think Carver would come after us? You think he wouldn't? He's not exactly the type to let things lie. What happened, happened. There's nothing we can do about it now. Let him come. I really don't give a damn. Alvin! What? I don't. Huh? Leave her out there to die? Better. I'll still need some bandages, and something to keep it from getting infected. Man from time. this baby. <laughs> let it be okay and let it be his. to be in here. Hi. Can you please help me? I'm not supposed to talk to you. My dad can't know. Help me, and I won't tell him. I... I'm hurt. Please help me. I, well, I shouldn't. What happened to you? A dog bit me. Sounds scary. I bet it hurts. 
I could die if I don't take care of it. Do you understand? I need something to clean it up, and something to wrap it with. A clean bandage. My dad says we're out of real bandages, but I know where to get something to clean it. That's what this supplies. I'll help you. Good. Thank you. I'm Sarah. I'm Clementine. We're friends. Right? We can be best friends. I haven't met another girl my age since way before. It's hard to be the only girl, you know? Yes, we are friends. Promise? It's important. Friends have to trust each other, no matter what. I promise. Me too. Friends. Pinky swears forever. See if I can find the stuff my dad uses when I get a cut. Let me look around. I think this is it. That'll work. You can't do it here, though. Someone will find you. Don't worry. I won't. Thanks, Sarah. Not exactly bandages, but they should help stop the bleeding. Fine. 
Now the fun part. Worst bandages ever. At least they'll keep the stitches in place when I'm done. Now, just like last time, just how Crystal showed me. didn't get in here. Little girl's tough as nails. Are you all right? I'm still not bitten. I never was. And you left me out here to die. You patched yourself up? Where'd you get that stuff? Did she steal from us? 
This doesn't change a thing. She hasn't done anything to us. Says the man not carrying a baby. Enough already. You left me no choice. You could have just left. Relax, Rebecca. Bring her in, and I'll take a look at her arm. Damn lurkers sneaking around out here. We better get inside. You hungry? This might hurt a little. Ow. How she look? Her suturing skills need some work, but otherwise, I say she should be fine. So, it wasn't a lurker bite? If it was, the fever would have already set in, and her temperature would be through the roof. You wouldn't have done what you did. I was hurt, and you weren't helping. Because we considered you a threat, which you were. Maybe you still are. No, I'm not. We put you in that shed out of concern for the safety of our loved ones. And then you escaped and persuaded my daughter to steal from us. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially, but once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. If she knew how bad the world is, what it's really like out there, she would cease to function. She's my little girl. She's all I had left, and I would ask that you stay away from her. I'm sorry. I didn't know. It's okay. You're forgiven. Just don't make any more mistakes. Hey, uh, brought you some food if you're hungry. That's gonna leave one hell of a scar. It doesn't bother me. I can live with it. Wow. Nice. Hey, look. I just wanna say I'm sorry for... Well, for being a dick out there. I got kind of aggro, and that was definitely not cool. Nick's been known to go off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. You definitely had one out there. You were just protecting your friends. I get it. I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just... Uh, we had a bad experience once. We've all had bad experiences. Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. I... It was no one's fault. We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. And there was nothing we could do about it. Anyway, hopefully you understand. I do. Yeah. So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I'm thinking about moving on. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. You let yourself heal up. Take some time to sort things out. Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? 
They'll just have to deal with it. So, what happened to your parents? If you don't mind me asking. I mean, I assume what happened to them is what happened to just about everyone's parents. Just so young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but maybe you did. Other people took care of me, if that's what you're asking. I was just curious on how you made it this far. I just tried to stay with good people and not do anything dumb. Hey, I'm sorry. I... I shouldn't have asked. My parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them, but they were already dead. Well, well, I'm sorry to hear that. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors and we all tried to make it, but it didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. He's the reason I keep my hair short. What uh, happened to him? I killed him. He got bitten, protecting me. And I had to kill him before he turned. Wow. I had to. I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. Now get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. A couple fresh brookies for dinner? Hmm, wouldn't that be nice? You're still here. I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. Luke invited me to stay. Good for him, but that's not how things work around here. We make decisions as a group, and you're wearing out your welcome. You got what you came here for. Now go. How you holding up? I heard you got an earful from Rebecca last night. Once she gets going, there's no bringing her back. Her bark's worse than her bite. She's all talk. She doesn't scare me. She was in a mood last night, that's for sure. How far are these fish traps? It ain't much further. Anyone teach you how to shoot? By that I mean taught proper. My friend Lee taught me. That's good. It's important nowadays. Nick was about your age, first time I took him hunting. Came across this beautiful 13-point buck just standing there on the ridge line. Boy takes the rifle, he lines up the shot just like I taught him, and then I hear him start whining. He turns to me and he says, I can't do it. I can't shoot it, Uncle Pete. Please don't make me shoot it. What a baby. Hey! Why didn't you wait? You want us standing around while you piss on a tree? You know where the river is, boy. Anyway, so I grab the gun out of his hand before the big buck runs off, when bang, the gun fires. Boy nearly gut shot me. And of course, the buck gets away. What are you going and telling her this shit for? Because you almost blew her face off yesterday. 
Seems relevant. Trying to let her know it's nothing personal with you. Why are you always giving me a hard time? Because you're always giving everyone else a hard time. I apologized already. She accepted. Okay, well I didn't know that. Let's just get to the river. You're always trying to embarrass me. You're doing a good enough job of that on your own. Leaving us again. I know where the fucking river is. So anyway, I found that buck later that season. Shot it right in the neck. Brought it up to my sister's figuring she'd want to freeze some of the meat. Nick didn't speak to me for weeks. Sometimes you gotta play a role. Even if it means people you love hate you for it. He doesn't hate you. Nick's father wasn't there much. And he was a piece of shit when he was. So it fell to me to keep him in line. Raise him right. Meant I couldn't just be nice Uncle Pete. Uncle Pete! Nick! Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Ah, full of holes. Who do you think did this? Not sure yet, but it ain't your average gang of thugs, that much I know. Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? Check those guys there. Be careful. Some of them might still be moving. more out there. This wasn't no rinky-dink pissing match. What was it then? Fubar. Where are you going? We need to get the fuck out of here. Gotta check the rest. What? Why? Calm down and think about it, son. Calm down? We gotta get out of here now! Jesus Christ, get a hold of yourself! What if someone's alive, Nick? Who cares? Cause they might just be inclined to tell us who did this. We gotta do this now. Stay here. Keep searching these. This is a dumb idea. You know, Nick, I don't like this either. But sooner or later, you're gonna have to realize a simple truth. What, that you're an asshole? That nobody in this world is ever gonna give a goddamn whether you like something or not. You gotta grow up, son. Whatever. Come on, Clem. You wanna be useful? Keep a lookout on that tree line. Whoever did this might still be out there. Waiting for another sucker to stumble across this mess. I'm on it. You always so agreeable? No. Good. You'll fit right in with this outfit. Look, just keep your head on straight. Same deal. We shot to pieces. Hope this isn't anyone you know. No. Good. More on that side. You check out these ones. See if there's anything on them that'll tell us who they were.
<coughs> That's my backpack. <coughs> You were in the woods with Krista. The woman I was with. What happened to her? Please, tell me. Tell me! <coughs> Please. Just, just lost my footing. Damn it. God damn it. Lurkers! I'm out of ammo. Come this way. Bitch. Damn it. You get your asses over here, both of I'll you. I'll cover you. We gotta get out of here. Get over here. Come on. Come on. Jesus. <laughs> We got about four, five more days to reach those mountains. We ain't here to rob nobody. Just relax and put the gun down, man. I thought you were dead. <laughs> 